in our last lesson we saw how we could um, make a very basic uh, file for bootstrap uh, in this lesson we are going to uh, work on our sign-in page uh, so far we have a blank page okay so let's start uh, by making a, a div with a class uh, container and within that I'm going to create our form okay and then within the form we are going to have a h1 which will read uh, sign in okay and at the end um, return we put a paragraph and within the paragraph we have a label okay and we call this email email address okay and then we will need to put our input type input type would be an email and we give it a placeholder which would read email um, address okay and we want this to be required at all times and we want to focus our mouse on this field um, every time you visit the page so when we reset we can see our label there we can see the uh, master's focus on it uh, the label um, we don't really need the label anymore so I'm going to use Twitter's uh, uh, screen read only which will remove that and only display it for people with visual uh, visually impaired on their machine which is good and on the input, I'm going to add another class called form control. Okay, so if we come up here and reset, we can see our form field has changed and it looks um, a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to copy our paragraph, uh, paste it, and then I'm going to change uh, this so it says password. And I'm going to change this type to password and the placeholder is also a password. Um, we don't need uh, to focus on two fields at the same time, but leave the required. So let's say what we've done. So, okay, so we have two uh, fields in there. We've used bootstrap styles. We haven't written any styles at all. And now we need to work on uh, remember, uh, remember me checkbox. So I'm going to make a P, okay, add a label in it. And then within the label, I'm going to have my input uh, type, which is a checkbox. Okay. And just at the end of the checkbox, we'll put our label, which is remember me. Okay. All right. So if we save this and then reset, we can see uh, we have our remember me there. But if you notice is a bit botched up so add checkbox here and once we've added that so we can reset and you can see it looks a lot cleaner so bootstrap has come to the rescue so our login in is coming together fine we have um the sign in button to do next so if i put button Okay, and we want to give it a type submit and we want to give it a value which is sign in. So let's see what this looks like. So we have a sign in uh, button displayed for us. So using Bootstrap, we could add some class to it uh, button BTN and we could reset see the button has been styled it looks gray and we could style that a bit more but added another class uh, to this button primary and then let's see what bootstrap has done so it's made it blue okay so now we want to make it into a block so it goes all the way from left to right so we can add another class to button which is button block okay so now if you save this and then reset, you can see that we have uh, a full length sign in. Okay, so we're slowly getting there. Uh, we've written quite a few um, HTML and absolutely no CSS. And yet we've used um, pre-written uh, CSS from Bootstrap. So let's go into our vendor 
and let's have a look at the non-minified uh, bootstrap CSS just to see so I, I definitely advise that you should come in here and check it out and see uh, for example our container class wasn't just uh, something I made up it actually is a bootstrap class so there's a few other classes here so the container class for example is styled to show at different sizes uh, depending on the the size of your monitor so we have a uh, the screen reader also is um, one of uh, Twitter's so this is where we end in this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson